everybody, it's Damien from RSU1 Tech TV, and today I want to talk to you about creating a publicly shared folder in Google Drive. And I think we've all been at a presentation or conference or group meeting where we get shared a link to something in Google Drive, and when you click on it, you get this screen. It's the request access screen, and everybody hates seeing it. So let's try to avoid this. I want to create this public folder so that as a presenter, it doesn't make you look unprepared and it doesn't get your viewers frustrated with the time drain on the presentation. So let's get started. Let's go over to Google Drive. And the first thing you want to do is create a new folder that you want to make your public folder. You can always click new, click folder, and then give it a name. I suggest just calling it public folder. Once you've done that, go ahead and click your folder and then click the little person with the plus sign at the top right. This is going to change our sharing settings. Down below, you'll see that I'm the only one currently available to access this folder. Down below, there's a link that says change link to RSU1. This is going to say the name of your organization. So if you're a business, it might say your business name. And if you are somebody who has an at gmail.com account, this may say something different entirely. It might just say like change permissions or something. Go ahead and click that link. And you'll see that it has changed it so that everyone in my organization is able to access this file if I send them the link. So if I send this to a colleague or a coworker, they can get into it assuming they're signed into a RSU1 account. I'm going to switch this to anyone with the link. Now I could copy this link and send it to anybody in the world and they will be able to access the stuff inside the folder and they won't even need a Google account to do so. This is what we want. So. Like I said, you can copy this link and send the whole folder to someone, but what if you want to share just one of the items inside of the folder? Let's take a look at that. So go ahead and click done, and then go into your folder. As you can see, I've got a couple of different items here. And because they're in this folder, they've inherited the same sharing settings. They're also able to be accessed by anybody who has the link. So now that I've got my item selected, I click the little chain link icon at the top, and it'll say link copy to the clipboard. Similarly to the folder, I can actually share this one item with anybody I want just by sharing the link. Now you could get more complex and put a f you could put folders inside of your public folder. So if you're doing multiple presentations, you could just share the one folder with everyone in that presentation group. And then anything that you save or move to that folder for your presentation will easily be accessible by everybody in the room. So that's all there is to creating this publicly shared folder. And this is a great time saver. And in the future, it'll prevent all kinds of issues. Once again, I'm Damian Austin with RSU1 Tech TV, and I thank you for watching.